Hi there my beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. You have just clicked on one of my DIY custom envelope videos in which I take one of the envelopes that I use in my cash envelope system and I decorate it up using cheap and inexpensive things like Sharpie markers, a little bit of rhinestones here and there, but that's about it in order to decorate it up to my preference and liking. No crickets were used in the making of this video. My channel is primarily based on my budgeting journey using this cash envelope system, building hefty savings and financial security for myself and my family. And this is just a video that I like to do because it gets my creative juices flowing. It keeps me motivated to keep going with this budgeting system and I like it. So if this is something that might interest you or if you're looking for some inspiration or motivation for your own budgeting journey, or simply some entertainment. Thank you for being here. Consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my thriving community. I'd love to have you and I'd love to be your weekly inspiration. If you're already one of my current subscribers, one of my thrivers, hi, how you doing? I hope you guys have been doing good, that you had a great weekend and you're off to a great start of your week. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So another DIY envelope. We are going through these. I'm really excited. The closer and closer I get to finishing all of my envelopes, the happier I feel. So we're just going to tackle another one today. Um, before I do get started on that, let me go ahead and grab my prompt -a card. If you're new and you've not ever watched one of my videos, I like to ask a prompt -a card. It's basically just a conversation starter, something to help me get to know you and you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So I'll answer the prompt -a card in this video and you guys can answer in the comments below. So today's prompt -a card is... Oh, what's one of your best memories of one of your grandmothers? This is so sweet. I have a grandmother. She passed away a few years ago. My grandmother was from England. She actually was a stowaway on a... What the heck? She actually was a stowaway on a boat with her older brothers when she was about 12 years old. Her brothers couldn't afford to buy a ticket for her, so they stowed her away and came to um, uh, actually Canada first and then to America. So her story was always very interesting, but I think one of my best memories of her is just sitting with her and talking to her about her life. We sat specifically one of the last times that I actually did get to talk with her before her death. Um, we sat on the balcony of a condo that we were at and we were doing a family vacation and we just talked about our lives and her life and we made plans to go through all of her trinkets and things because everything had a story attached. We never got to do that. I'm sad about that, but it's a memory that I will always cherish with her. So what about you guys? What is one of your best memories of one of your grandmothers? All right, so today we are going to tackle one of my envelopes, of course, and today we're going to be doing my envelope that you have no idea what it is. <laughs> this is my taxes envelope. I probably should take the money out, but once I put the cardstock in here, it won't be an issue. So what I'll be putting on the front of this is my taxes. So this is my taxes envelope, obviously, and I'm going to try and replicate this as best as I can. Don't know how that's going to work out, but we'll see. If this is your first time ever watching one of my DIY custom envelope videos, what I do is I find an image or create an image or find and edit an image to what I like, size it down to the size that I need, and then I print it out, obviously. And what I do is I place this inside of my envelope like this. I will put a cardstock as I have in all of my envelopes just to make this a bit firmer and to have a backing to the image that I put on here. It looks good in my opinion so I like that and also it hides the money in the back. 
So I just taped this down to the cardstock I will put in here and then using Sharpie markers, I will simply trace over the image here. And then once I have fully traced over it, I pull it out, I do a second coat on it, and then I seal it up with some sealant spray. You won't see the sealant spray part because I have to do that outside, but um, I will spray it afterwards and then it takes about two hours to dry. But I'll do that after the video. So you'll see the final product, but you won't see it after it's been sealed and until further videos. So that's about it. I mean, of course, if you're trying to make one, you can always just print something out, have some cardstock back here, have it attached to the cardstock, and then this be your envelope that you can interchange, and it's not a permanent thing. I, however, like to do things the hard way, so I'm going to trace over it, and that will make this a permanent taxes envelope and I don't mind it. I enjoy doing this. It allows me to expend some of my creativity and gives you guys something to watch. So we're all happy in the end. Anyway, so first thing I need to do is create my cardstock. I use cardstock, obviously you can see I've created um, two for two other envelopes here. I'm going to probably do it on this side because this end for some reason is a little bit bent. But what I'll do is just place this over here because every envelope is different. I don't know if you know that, but it is, especially if you buy from different uh, makers. So they're not all universal size. So I just measure each one individually so that I can ensure that it is the correct size for each envelope. But I will basically just lay this over here, mark underneath, mark underneath where I want it, use a ruler, and then cut it out, and I've got the correct um, size cardstock that I will put inside of here. So I'm going to do that really quick. I'll speed this part up for you guys. So I have the cardstock in and like I said it just makes it a little bit more stiff especially if you have these here. They tend to bend because of the others that are in here so it's just so much pressure that I would have a problem with them bending over. But since I started using a cardstock, a thick cardstock in here, I haven't had that problem so I enjoy it and then I also usually don't have these on here but I have a feeling this will get pretty thick so I am going to keep this on here just for security's sake. So, I will go ahead and position this where I want it, tape it down, and get started. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Enjoy the music, and enjoy watching me work. We have finished the taxes envelope. I love it. It looks really, really cute. I try to just do it the splotchy in black on the taxes, but not on the outside here. 
just kind of made it my own and I think it looks good I like it so um, as far as rhinestones go I don't think I'm actually gonna put any on this one if I did it would just be the four corners I think which you know what I'm gonna do that let's do it if you hear my family talking in the background I apologize And last one. Yeah, it's cute. It's very subtle though. You can't really tell. I don't know. I should have probably done the big ones just so it's more visible. I didn't notice that the red line here was kind of messed up. Oh well. I like that it's kind of jagged actually. It kind of gives it a little character. But anyway. So that'll do it for this one. I will be taking this outside to um, seal it up. But I'll go ahead and put my taxes money in here. And it, I like to do it upside down for some reason. Just because like when I flip it and I see it, it's facing me. I don't know, I'm strange. Anyway, so this will go into my business. I decided to do taxes just because it is not labeled at all and I need it labeled. So, the first one in my business binder. And I'll go and seal that up, of course, but we got this one done, uh-oh. The sealant didn't work, what? I might have to do a second coat of sealing on this one. Maybe I didn't get that part. Anyway. Um, so yeah. These are the ones that I've done so far. In this binder. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah. So we've got the taxes. That's done. We've got budget supplies done. And YouTube giveaway. And supporting small business. And so we still have bills, festivals, wood. Which one would y'all like to see me do next? I prefer to do one that doesn't have any stickers on it because the ones that have stickers, I know what they are. This, I don't have any identifiers. And if you see the difference in the size of envelope, that's what I was talking about. Like all envelopes are different for some reason. This one is wider, but it's cut this way. This last one back here is not cut that way, but it's about the same width, a little bit higher than that. So, you know, you just have to do each one on its own individually. But which one would you like to see? Put it in the comment with your prompt -a card answer. Would you like to see bills, festivals, or wood done next? I have designs for all three of them already, so... Whichever one you guys choose is the one I will do. So I'd like to go ahead and work through my business binder and get those done. So I'm curious, which one would you want to see next? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. If you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're already part of the family. It's clear. So you might as well become part of one and so that you don't miss my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Wednesday, our WTF weekly tracking of finances video. And uh, we will go through the expenses that we have made over the past week and get those replaced back into the bank by unstuffing our envelopes. So I hope you guys join me in that video and I will see you then. As always, until next time. Bye.